Welcome Forex fans, it's Rob here from Explominate here with the release version, version 1.0 of Humankind. I'm extremely excited to be able to show you this. I'm extremely excited to be here to play and, and basically do this Let's Play, which I'm going to do the whole thing, the whole shebang. However, there are a few things that I won't be able to show you just yet, like the modern era. We'll have to wait until a little bit closer to release. And there's a few other things that are just, uh, you know, disabled for this particular build, this preview build. And, you know, but the, the, the vast majority of the gameplay is going to be here. So we're going to have fun. We're going to play. You're going to see some of the improvements to the balance and to the UI and stuff like that and get a good feel for what release version of Humankind's like. So I'm very excited. I am an Amplitude Studios VIP, but that does not mean I'm any good. It just means I test the crap out of these things and give feedback, but it doesn't mean that I've actually gotten any good at this game, so don't expect that. But there are a few things that I've learned along the way. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and look over here, over yonder, and we're already picking up some some influence which is good because now you have to actually have eight influence to start your or to to claim your first territory so we can grab that last five to claim a territory over here so we'll grab that and then we'll come back over this way because i bet you there's something really good there's probably a decent spot over here eight and 13 that's not that great actually it's hoping for better but i'll take it i'll take it We'll go ahead and move through here. We'll grab some food here. All right, let's take this army, move them over there once we're ready. All right, looks like we have an event that popped up, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so Lost Souls, your scout comes to you breathless from exertion. Between gasps, he tells you that he spied another tribe not far ahead. He leads you on, then after giving a stop signal, you drop to your bellies and crawl forward to the bush, in the bush. Ahead, a young woman, no more than 13, Summers, is leading a ceremony. Her audience, a dozen or so equally young or younger tribesmen. Many are crying, and when you see the bodies laid out, you understand they are in mourning. You know what you must do. So let's take them. Let's welcome them, all of them and take them on. And with that group, we'll go ahead and set them to auto-explore, because they're really pretty good at finding... Those, yeah, those curiosities that'll help you. So we're going to take that. And you know, you can actually combine the two of these. So like you have here, one that's got five out of 30 food for another tribe. And then you could combine this one for 10 and make it 15. A little trick of the trade. But we're not going to do that just yet. So, all right, we're going to acknowledge that. We're going to move to probably this area here. See, oh, no, there's nothing down here. That kind of sucks. We'll get them to auto explore as well because they are, like I said, they're very good at finding the curiosities. So there's two of them right there. So just as I spoke. All right, let's see. That means it's got 15 here and 20 there. So we could combine them. We're just going to let them continue on. We picked up some more food. Looks like they're headed towards these here. That's good. And let's also take a look at the the different... We've got the Fidzy group here. So let's take a look at... Sorry. I'm so used to, to my Endless Legend. I called it Fidzy. Fims. So we can look to see if there's anything good. There's a good spot over here. There's quite a bit of industry. A little bit of food. That's a nice little natural wonder there. And by natural wonder, I mean like map wonder. Whatever they call it. Hmm, that's a good spot. Let's see if I can get somebody over there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll let them go over that way and then I'll see what, what's good over here. What's good? All right, drop you here. We're going to start taking control of you again. Looks like there's another event that's popped up, so let's go ahead and hit that one. Seed of an idea. Yesterday, the tribe came across a vast tract of wild grain and stalks swaying in the breeze like the wind playing over golden waters. The ground down grain could feed the other tribe twice over, but one of the tribe el tribal elders had another idea. Instead of pounding the seeds into flour, she suggests, planting half them so the grasses may return next summer. It is a curious idea, at odds with the nomadic life, but perhaps a harbinger of the future. What should you do? I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to plant. So negative 25% on domestication resource costs or 
grind plus two food on city or outpost. Hmm. Let's see that I reduce this one time or I take kind of a bonus that lasts a little bit while a little while. So I'm gonna take the grind. We're gonna continue to grind. Screw, screw, you know, being able to make new plants and giving back to the planet. We're gonna do what humans do best and just take everything. All right, so they should be separated now. We're gonna to need to keep keep separating them so they can continue to. Oh, they've got something going on too. Oh, they've also got the same one. Oh, he knows it's a tribe's legacy. So you stand at a crossroads. For many moons, that tribe has trekked the wilderness slowly, torturously, learning the secrets of this world. How the materials hidden in the deep places and in plain sight might be fashioned to the tribe's advantage. How the beasts and the plants of the lands and seas can be most fruitfully harvest, harvested. And how myths and stories can glacially but inescapably give power over our greatest enemies, other tribes. Now you must decide in what the domain the tribe will truly sharpen its knowledge for the ages to come. Will you become renowned as makers, farmers, or charmers? I'm, I'm a huge industry fan. I really like industry, but you know what? I'm going to try to change it here. So we could take one science per population on the city or outpost. That's probably pretty good too. Oh man. I think I'm going to take that. I'm going to go with that. And once we can, we'll, we'll separate those two. So we'll actually take the auto explorer off and we'll make it happen next turn. So you can come over here and then we're going to look, I don't think we have enough. We don't have enough yet. Do we, we need 30 for the next one. So that's definitely changed too. That's a balance change in and of itself. All right. You auto explore, you auto explore. All right. And we'll bring you over here. I think there's probably should be something over here. Let's hope. All right. In the turn, we're close to people starting. Yep. There we go. They're starting to reach the ancient era. The Harappans. I've never really, I don't think I've ever chosen the Harappans. I don't, I'm not a very big food culture guy. I should probably try it. Maybe I will. Maybe I will in this exact game. Let's look. I expect to see more soon. All right, so we are close to, looks like we're close to the Knowledge Star. We need four more science, which we'll probably get soon. All right, you go ahead and auto explore as well. Looks like we're about to gain another person here that might make us gain the Population Star. Or not. But no one else is advanced, so we're we're okay. Urgent affairs. All right, a world of flames. So we've we're going to gain another one. But here we go. In the distance, a thin cord of smoke cuts into the clear blue sky. Fire, calling a few times when you run closer. The smell of cindered bark and burning pine, growing stronger with every each footfall. You spy dancing flames. And suddenly find yourselves on the edge of a settlement on fire. Many of the structures are ablaze, but even the smoke and flames, you can see the abodes are marvels of craftsmanship. You're about to direct your men to put out the fires with loose soil when you see short, shadowed figures running away. Youths. They could become part of your tribe if, they give you chase, if you give chase now. But then you would mean the losing... That would mean losing their secrets of construction. I feel like city defense construction costs... Research costs is like forever. Whereas I could gain a, another group now. I'm going to take that. I'm going to... We're close to, oh, it looks like another tribe is actually, ooh, maybe a few actually. Look at that, quite a few. We're, we're a little behind now. And all we need is one, just one of something. Turn 15 is pretty, pretty short, pretty slow, sorry. So, there we go, finally. I wonder what's going to be left. The Assyrians, the Babylonians, the Egyptians, those are good ones. The Zhao, the Phoenicians. I won't be able to do my happens like I was going to try. The Mycenaeans are really powerful in the beginning. I'm not going to lie. So let's see. Where do we want to go with this then? The Babylonians were the most chosen throughout the, the open dev scenarios. I'm not going to do them. Perhaps I do the Assyrians here. They gain plus one land movement, speed on unit, plus five combat strength, a bonus when ransacking an army. They gain a plus two influence and plus ten... Fortification, 
from their Danu. And then they have the Assyrian writers. I don't feel like that's particularly powerful. Phoenicians here. Plus two money per traders on city or outpost. We don't have any traders and we don't have we haven't ran into anybody, so I feel like that may not be the best. Zhao with their stability in science. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with them. We'll go with them. Alright. The nomadic tribe is now the ancient people. There we go. New era. And normally there'd be a video, but we can't show those. So, all right. Evolve your city into outposts. There we go. And now we'll start to look at possibly expanding. Now that we have th we have three, sorry, we have 30 influence, so we can actually do that. And here, let's go ahead and see what we need. So this counts as a research quarter, plus five science per adjacent mountain. So I bet you we could drop, yeah, there we go, some decent spot there. We'll take that one. And we'll also drop maybe here, yep, for some more industry. Let's come over here and take a look. All right. Now we can go with city defense for the warriors. I particularly like the granary for more food and the ability to build artisan's quarters for luxury resources like this one here. Salt, it's gonna gain stability and food. So I'm digging that one, let's do that. All right, so we're not the last ones to get into the next era, that's good. We're all at 100. Actually, no, blue's at 150. Those little blue people <laughs> I don't want to start cursing yet it's so early in the game all right so let's see oh it looks like we have a couple spots that are pretty decent oh that's a great spot very decent balance of food and industry I'm gonna take that and we're gonna send this group here to ransack that sanctuary there And then you guys, oh, there's nothing really. Oh, there is another sanctuary up here. So let's go ahead and drop that one over here. Go ahead and ransack that as well. All right, make it happen. Make it so. All right, and ransack the sanctuary here, please. And it looks like we'll be able to take that spot, which is great. We'll go ahead and ransack the sanctuary as well. There's another one there too, so we'll gain some more money. Very good. Ransack here as well. And you should be building that spot. There we go. Let's go ahead and let that take over. Take four turns and then how much is it going to be to attach it? I think it's 30. The first time I'm trying to remember, I'm pretty sure. 30 influence to attach that, which we will probably do. Let's see what we got out here. All right, so we don't have enough just yet. So we'll wait one more turn. We might actually, should we move up north or move inland? I just want to see, like, why isn't this a good spot? I feel like this is a good spot. When we accumulate some more influence, I'm going to look here. 5 and 16 is actually pretty good. 4 and 15, 7 and 10. Not bad, really. I'm surprised that it doesn't recommend any of these. 6 and 11. We're going to go with the 5 and 16 and actually combine these two. And then maybe let this one be its own city. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I lied. 5 and 16 right there. Go. Go. And then you guys... Go back to your... Actually, we'll separate the two of them again. Separate them and then have them auto-explore. Very good. And you... Is there any other sanctuaries we can ransack? Negative. So go ahead and auto-explore. Ooh, we've met purple. All right. Greetings. I'm a good neighbor and a loyal friend. As long as you don't cross me. Okay. 
if you say so. Oh, look, it's a new diplomacy user interface. That's crazy. So what we can do now is actually talk about trading luxuries. Let's go ahead and do that. We would all you. From closer. No. Forget all that. Become friends. No way. Forget all what? We don't have any animosities towards each other. Why would we forget anything? There's nothing to forget. There's no history between us. All right, you know what we'll do? Let's we'll attack these. Let's go ahead and attack. And we'll take... Yeah, we'll stay actually right there. And... We'll hit him. Mm, not as hard as I'd like. It's going to be a close one. Close battle here. Close battle with the deer. <laughs> All right, good. All right, well, we'll come over here. Let's see what's going on over here. So we'll take manual control of that one and figure out what's going on. Over yonder. You should be up there. There we go. All right. And we'll see what their offer is. I just offered this. There is some merit in this. I'm not a fan of that. Just as you are wise. Let's make it so. Hmm. Hi. You know, dude, I think I'm going to turn up the voice volume here. So maybe we come up a little bit higher here and drop the music just so it's not overpowering. Hopefully that's not too bad. Actually, we'll turn down just a little bit more. There we go. Ooh, that's a little bit louder, isn't it? <laughs> You know what? We're going to try. We're going to fix this. I can already tell it's going to be an issue. Sound effects will come down to 70. Interface. Well, yeah. Psh, who needs that? I'm going to 20 with you. There we go. There we go. Good. That's, that's going to be better. I can feel it. I can feel it. All right. Let's go ahead and intern. Our aesthete has picked up, so basically we have the ability to convert. Wait, hold on a second. Let's... Why doesn't it mouse over? There we go. So cultural blitz. Immediately bring one of your empire's territories back into its sphere of influence and gain influence for each adjacent territory already in your sphere. If you do not have the strongest influence in the territory, there's a high chance that it will start converting back after you use this action. So we're probably not in need of that. I doubt it. Yeah, we're all already converting to Zhao, so that's all right. Which is good because we're about to take this. It should be one more turn, right? Two more turns. There we go. We got two idle armies. So let's move you over here. Let's take a look over what's going on over there. And we'll continue my little northwest trek over here. It's a lot of landmass. All right, we've been introduced to the Assyrians. What's up? Hi. All right, no words from you. That's cool. I didn't need to hear from you. All right, so let's go ahead and auto explore with this one. What? How did our influence drop? Did I use some? I don't remember doing anything with that. I do want to try to take one more territory before we start to get kind of encroached on here. All right, so Hajing is going to take, oh, it's going to be 45. So another balance change that I wasn't aware of. Things, things were kind of hot and heavy there towards the end. So that's all right. Makes sense. I like it. It might also have to do with the fact that I'm playing a, a long game instead of a regular regular length game. So it might have also affected the the changes to influence oh. and stuff. I have a proposal for you. Okay. I'll accept it. You are as just as you are wise. Let's make it so. Neither one of us have any luxury or resources yet, so how about them apples? And we're not able I'm not even able to harvest them yet, so let's come up here. 
calendar research. All right, there we go. Now we can. So we'll go ahead and set that up for the next turn. Get that. I think that's t incense, right? That's salt. Sorry. Yep. Salt, incense, same thing. <laughs> All right. So let's come over here and we'll continue to explore. All right. So what do we have here? So... I'm a big fan of Lumberyard because generally what happens is that you have at least some... Yeah, look at all that. So that's forest that we can exploit for more industry. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of that. I like that. All right, we're gaining a lot of m money from... Well, let's see what the grievance is that we have here. How do you do in every sense of the question? Oh, okay. We're already being attacked. That's cool. I'm going to demand. This can be overlooked. If you're willing to meet halfway. Are you? Looks like a big negative. Alright, so let's go ahead and fight this out. We're gonna ooh, I don't want yeah, I'll take here, because it looks like they have the high ground there. I, I edged them out by one hit point. Oh man. We're gonna lose this battle. Man, I think we're gonna lose. We're gonna try though. Oh man. We lost our first battle. Our first real battle. Urgent affairs. So, by what right do we rule? Let's look at the new civic here. We can add influence on Main Plaza or we can add faith on territory. I really like religion. I really like how powerful it can become. So let's go ahead and set that up. And legitimacy, let's look at that. So we can absorb. Yeah, I think we're going to do this because this is going to make it a lot easier for us to attach outposts. Although with so much land, I think creating outpost costs might be a better way to use it because we're going to be wanting to take a bunch of land early. Like right now, I think that means we can probably take... No, we need 60. Not as good as I thought. Not as much as I thought. Actually, it's more than I thought. That's what I mean. Jeez. <laughs> All right. This is a lot of land. Wow. How much is it going to be to start the city? 240. Follow me. Over this way. All right. So we've actually... Found some more water, which is cool. It's kind of wondering how how wide this landmass is. It's pretty wide. Quite a few territories. I mean, I'm gonna want to try to gobble up like most of this here, so that Babylonia doesn't take it. There's also some good. So this one here, let's see. This we've get we've got the salt here in this one, but this one has salt and. Sage, which is good. We also have the marble here, which is good for stability and industry. There's a couple strategic resources over here. So I'm, this is likely uranium, which I won't be able to show you or talk about just yet. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. And then we'll have... Mm, this could be any... Yeah, there's, there's a few here that I don't know exactly what it'll be. Unfortunately, there's not many strategic resources. So we're going to want to take these for the strategic resources and then probably these two here. And that looks like about it for now. Well, then let's just take out the deer. All right, you know what? You can go over here and let the deer come to you. Oh, no, actually, we can come right Follow here. Me. It looks like we'll be able to hit them up with a little strike strong hit. Hard. I had the high ground, deer. You don't ever attack the high ground. All right, there we go. Let's come over here. You know what? Before we move too much further, we'll let these guys grab that because I think that's what they're doing. And we'll head back over this way to start grabbing one or two of these territories.
All right, what are we doing here? So everybody's good. We're good. We're good. All right. Can I still use it though? I don't think I can. It doesn't matter. Yeah. I wish it boosted your influence output as well, but it doesn't. Yeah, I think this will be a territory we'll want to take next. And then definitely these two. Maybe we'll make this one big large city. I don't know yet. Wow, what do we have here? Mercenaries. All right. I don't like the way they look. I don't like the look of them. All right. We're definitely accumulating quite a bit of money, which is good. Lots of good curiosities we're picking up here, so. Let's see. I don't think it's going to be worth it. Alright, come over here. Not a single era star yet. Looks like we're all kind of on the same page too with that. So, let's see. We're going to need eight territories, which is pretty big. We'll need six districts. We can do that. Only five more population. We can manage that as well. Two more technologies will gain us one. That's good. All right, so let's do, well, we have horses, so let's go ahead and domesticate. Grab that real quick, and then let's look to see, we have 77. There's a couple good spots here, so we'll take one of them. All right, so there we go. We've taken whatever's here. It's actually a much bigger territory than I expected, too. It's actually way in through here and then this territory will be just one as well there's two strategic resources there so we'll want to grab that as well oh it looks like that's a forest so the uh Takena forest you discovered the breathtaking Takena forest Right, come over here and we'll grab this. Come over here. Yeah, come over there. Come over here. Let's do that and then. Come over here. I think I'm going to hold off on using any more influence until I can make this a city. I think that's going to be an important. An important investment. All right, so we've gained dust domestication. Which means, ooh, look, we've got a battle. Why are you trying to battle it out with me, yo? Oof. I don't like where you are, either. That's a bear. Mean little bear. Go get your honey elsewhere. Good lord. The bear was no joke. Go grab that, please. All right, good to go. Some more influence, which is good. So what we'll need now is to... Yeah, we're going to really need to f get this city up and running. It's going to be our best bet. So how much is it going to be to take one of these? Found an outpost for 30. Hmm. Do I claim it now? 11 and 3, 9 and 5, 11 and 4, 8 and 8. None of these are very good. But I want it. So, that was a high industry. So, we're going to probably connect these two then. And make something, yeah, something that's got more food. Especially since we can wait. Alright, you come over here. We're gonna actually burn that sanctuary down. And then we'll take city defense. And we should all be gaining era stars here soon. Alright, so oh, let's see what's going on here. Fate of the free cities. The world as it ever was is divided into rulers and the ruled. Great sprawling empires and proud independent cities. Your struggles with other empires, but you should not forget the part these free cities could play. So let's talk about independent people here. We're not actually really worried about that just yet. 
I don't care. Yep, good to go. And you can go back to Auto Explorer. Oh, there's that's why that event popped up. Let's see if we can influence them a little bit. So we've got a lot of money. Let's go ahead and influence them with some money. And that should put us probably... Yeah, we'll probably be the highest as far as patronage goes. All right, we gained a star. Yay! I believe we're the first ones to gain a star. That's great. So, agrarian stars, we're actually pretty close to that too. We need a few more people here. All right. Ransack was complete. Good. We've continued to gain money, man. I love it. All right, let's go and look to see what we're going to do next. So, let's look. We'll take bronze working because I want to grab that. We could also... T so, they've reduced this, the amount or the cost of harbors. Let's go ahead and grab that first. And it looks like, yeah, we've got this one, this one. And then I really want... Like I said, oh, they've taken the one that I wanted. I do want this one over here, though. But we're going to wait. We're going to just, like, set somebody there. So that we can take that territory when it's time. Although it might get attacked by some of these Norte Chicos. They're a bit aggressive around here. You get out of here with your aggressiveness. How are the Babylonians doing? Alright, they've probably expanded a little bit. But that's why we need to focus on this. 240 is quite a bit. I'm not a huge fan of that. That's going to take a while. Alright. Gain another population. So what else are we close to? So we'll need three more technologies. That won't take too long. We could probably start attacking things for this one. We're not anywhere close to the territories, so we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to do that. But we could I think we could probably knock out nine military units if we start attacking some of the independent people. We have to gather our people together. Create our religion. So it's either plus five faith per number of territories or plus four faith per population. Our population is decently high, so but plus five faith per number of hmm. We have I think this is going to give us more. So we're going to go with shamanism. Because we have 10 population. So there would be 10. And then we only had one attached territory right now. So that would be, yeah, 10 versus 5. That makes perfect sense. And it looks like everybody's converting to our... Converting to animism. Nuh-uh. You ain't gonna... All right, looks like actually now we're neck and neck with green. But that'll change. We will win. We will win. I, I don't know. I lost my last game on normal difficulty, insanely enough. All right, so here we go. Let's go ahead and do this one last event. We'll make it an episode, and we'll come back. So in the teeming iconic city of Haojing, musicians are a celebrated part of the local culture with a long history and holy rites. They bring nobility to religious rituals, jollity to palace celebrations, smiles to the sick and ailing, courage to marching armies, and distraction to the gods. Alas, they are still too small in number, especially the good ones, and now word of their renown has reached across the empire. Lords, priests, commanders, and among others are grousing that their city deserves such artists too. How will you satisfy them? So we'll build them. We'll pay 60 money. We'll gain some industry. I think that makes sense. Let's put a horse ranch down over here after we're done with this. And we're going to go ahead and station you here. I think that's a good start. So basically what we have is we have one, two, three, four, five territories actually like claimed and we'll take a sixth, but I'm going to try to get this to 240. We're going to have to save up. It's quite a bit. 
it must be a, it must have something to do with my speed i don't think that's a balance change i've changed it to slow so i have 450 turns instead of 300 so i think that's more of a a balance like not balance but a change based on my my game speed so all right cool so we'll come back to episode two stay tuned for that until next time this is rafa mixplominates keep exploring